Hello guys, it's been a long time since I have posted a video. Um, yes, I am back. Honestly, I just started school. That explains everything. It just, I started school, I was busy. You know, it's been a couple weeks. Actually, I think I posted last week. Anyways, this is a new video on my channel. And this is a essential for any new cottage no this is not for new people this is for anyone new cottage core people and anyone who just loves cottage core animal crossing that is me <clears throat> oh my gosh yes so okay um yeah so this is a video it is going to be telling you um six different areas that every single cottage core player needs on their island on their cottage core island um this is going to be some major inspiration for your own island and i actually really like my ears my bear outfit today you know i really like it um we're ready to start the first area is actually right over here this is a um villagers area and i made it into a meadow meadow core um flower field area and you can take this design idea with the soil and you can put um maybe you can even put the yellow hyacinth to be um corn so you can make this a farm or you can make it a flower um meadow field of flowers so this is a way to decorate your villagers house very natural and cute i really like that it's actually pretty hard for me to um find out areas no find out what how to decorate villagers houses so yeah and this is the next one i like this because it gives you a natural little walkway so this is the walkway to go to the area it's very natural and has a bunch of trees and then this is the actual area i made this into a pumpkin cottage so it's basically a fake house and i actually really like doing that i did another one which i'll show you and it's right next to this one so i actually made this into a pumpkin cottage and i put that carriage and then i put the cottage doors which if you go on that video the speed build that i did you can actually find out all the codes that i used so yeah this is another um idea for your cottage core island you can make a fake pumpkin cottage and include a nice natural walkway walkway to it that's great and we'll go ahead and go i'll show you the other fake house that i did this is the cottage i love this area um i have the pumpkins here and this is the nice cottage i have the roof and the panels i just absolutely love this area it is so nice and i put the rocking chair because it's very um cozy and it's like a home outside of their house you got a rocking chair so yeah those are the three areas that i have so far and I will give you another idea to run over here and it will give you a nice flower shop idea. So here I've got mainly like green and yellow flowers, but I really love this um, code that's a flower shop camper design. So yeah, and then I also put this bug model, which I really think it goes with it because it looks like a leaf. Yeah, I actually really like that bug model. <coughs> Sorry guys, you gotta clear my throat. Yeah, so this is a flower shop design. I really like it. It's very green over here. The grass, the flower shop, trees. Yeah, and I like this sign. Okay, that was the fourth one. And I just gotta run over here because every single cottage core island needs and yes, you guessed it. A picnic area. A nice little picnic spot. So yeah, here is the 
three picnic blankets that I stacked together. And I love this apple pie and this tea, little snacks, bread basket. Yes, so this is a way to do a picnic area, which we all really love to do. You can honestly put a picnic, a picnic area anywhere in the middle of some random trees, just like this. So yeah, that's what I got. So that was my, oh wait, four, fifth. Okay, so we actually have done already five, five areas. I'll show you one more um, thing that you can do. Honestly, I'll show you two more things, okay. Here's a lemonade stand. I actually really like this. This is a mini area that can go anywhere in your island in spaces where you just don't know what to do with. You can put a mini little lemonade stand area. And I love this code. And it's just a very nice mini area. Very nice. And this is a more like interesting, the one I've not really seen that many people do. But this is actually a forest clearing. I actually really like this look. It looks really magical and a little bit mysterious, you know? So, and it just is easy to do. You just need, how many trees do you need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you need twelve trees and putting putting them in a circle. And what really like amazed me about this is that it can go in a perfect circle. Like I didn't really know that the trees can actually go in a perfect circle like this, but I actually really like how it looks perfectly symmetrical. And I put some mushrooms and pine cone and I just dropped this stopwatch. It's a timer, but it's supposed to look like a stopwatch from Alice in Wonderland. So yeah. Um, those were the ideas I had. I just have nothing over here or like, yeah, a lot of my island is just not finished. So I just wanted to give you guys some inspiration so that you guys know how to fill up your island. Um, if you have a nice cottage core, um, natural island. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video. I will hopefully start posting more island tours and speed builds. That's basically what I need to be doing. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in another one. Goodbye!